have naughty students in class today. We're learning the word should. We use should for advice. You should do this, you shouldn't do that. Really, when we, when we give advice, it's always about what we think. So we usually start a sentence with, I think you should, or I think you shouldn't. Sometimes you could do this as well. I don't think you should do that. It's like saying, I think you shouldn't, or I don't think you should. So it's just a way of saying, I think you shouldn't. It's a different way of saying it. Um, there are a couple of other ways of doing this. Why don't you study English every day? For example, is she going to laugh? No, she's okay. She's okay. Why don't you study English every day? Or try studying every day. But really, I want to focus on the word should, just for a few moments more. Because there are some very common problems that happen. Firstly, when we're talking about he, other people, he, she, or it, for example, she, we must remember that the main verb stays in the infinitive. You might want to move that way right now, that way, because I'm going to turn the camera and you may not want to be on the video. You might want to, yeah, you see? So it's really important that after a modal verb, any modal verb, that the main verb is infinitive. So she spends, but she should or shouldn't spend. And that's the same with any modal verb. Here we are. Here are all the modal verbs that we use. These are the most common ones. Shall and should, can and could, will and would, may, might, must. Those are the nine main modal verbs that we use. And I've just written the rule here. After a modal verb, remember these are called modal auxiliary verbs, but after a modal verb, the main verb is always infinitive. It's always present simple first person. Therefore, she shouldn't spend everything on clothes. These were the other two problems that came up today. Chris should broke up with his girlfriend. No, not broke up, because the main verb has to be infinitive. Oliver should listening to his family. No ing, because the main verb is always infinitive. So remember that. If you remember that after any modal verb, the main verb is always infinitive, that's the key. That's the key to the rule. Okay? And remember that we always, after the modal verb, we always put the verb after. Unless, of course, we're asking a question like this. Then we turn things around. What should I do? Question mark. That's when we turn things around because remember we want to use the question word, the auxiliary verb, the subject and the main verb. Just like when we were learning questions in present simple. It's exactly the same when we use any modal verb as well. That's it.